of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God for all things. Today, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we heard in the Gospel, I am the Good Shepherd. I lay my life down for the sheep. And we often hear, very often hear, this Gospel passage, this Gospel reading, for holy hierarchs, those archpastors whose who dedicated their lives truly to serving our Lord and to their flocks. And today we celebrate one of the most noted examples of this, at least in our present day and age, Holy Hierarch Father John of Shanghai and San Francisco. But he's not only noted for his caring for the flock. He was a great ascetic. Even before he was a bishop, before he was even a priest, while he was studying, he learned to pray during the night and keep, and keep vigil. And later, no, later on, he became known as a healer for his tireless efforts to go to those who were sick, to bring communion to them. And he also kept watch hours of night over, over his students and over those who were on the Philippine island of Tubabao to protect them from storms from dangerous typhoons. And so he is extremely notable, and sh we should all be looking to him as an example of how to live our lives. But you may ask, he was a bishop. He is supposed to care for his flock. We are not. My answer to you is this. We are to learn from him for his love for our Lord and for his love for his fellow men, for his fellow brothers and sisters. For the love that he showed, for the great faith that he showed, for the tireless efforts that he put in giving little to any thought for his comfort, but spending the time in prayer, spending the time being concerned with the welfare of others. All these things we can do as well. St. John was no different from any of us. He, in fact, suffered from a speech impediment, which only after some time was he able to get help for. But our Lord strengthened him because he made the effort. And we, too, need to make the effort. We, too, need to do more than we do now in caring for one another. If help is needed, we should answer the call. If help is needed here in the church, we should give it serious consideration. We should think, am I doing enough for my brothers and sisters of this parish? Am I doing enough? for my brothers and sisters in the world? Am I too accustomed to comfort, to enjoying the things that I have? We can see that St. John 
to not seek these things. He would walk around barefoot in all kinds of weather. as part of his asceticism. I understand that he would would take food that was given to him, even if it was in courses, it would mix it together, because he refused to try to enjoy the food, but realizing it's just something for nourishment, it's something to, the Lord has given him to keep him going. And so there's a great deal that we can learn from St. John and how we conduct our lives and how we help those who shepherd, those who are trying to, those who are trying to be more loving. Remember that we are all given talents. We are all given talents that our Lord expects us to Return that we have to grow. And if we just look to St. John, we can see how much he has returned for our Lord. In growing parishes, in founding this parish, of which we all should be grateful. So, dear brothers and sisters, let us turn to Father, let us turn to Saint John with our prayers. Let us ask and beseech him that we too may grow in love for one another, and especially for our Lord, our God. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace and love for mankind, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen.